Today I'll show you my itinerary from Las Vegas to Grand Canyon and a unique site that can only be seen at certain time and year that many visitors are not aware of. As soon as I left the city boundaries, bare golden hills and mountains were in sight. Just 45 minutes away from the airport, I came across scenic view. It is literally a nameless place called scenic view. This nameless scenic view offers a stunning view of the Colorado River. But this beautiful sight is merely a fraction, nothing comparable to our destination, the Grand Canyon, which you'll see in a bit. Regardless, there's also a marina if you would like a closer interaction, like kayaking down the river. As I was approaching the legendary Route 66, the road and rental car's conditions weren't 100% ideal. Make sure to secure your camera and hope for a well-maintained rental car. Welcome to Kingman, heart of Route 66. <laughs> Kingman, the heart of Route 66 offered some of never seen before moments that made this stop more than just a rest stop. Wow. If you're here for lunch, I recommend not, I repeat, not taking a closer look here at the historic train. Uh, many birds nest there and it does not look or smell pretty. <coughs> historic town, historic diner. Mr. D's Route 66 diner. And here, Chevy from Texas 54. Anybody old enough to have driven one? And a vehicle that looks to be from Back to the Future. Cool. Let us go back to 50s for a moment. 285 total for 15 gallons. When was the last time you even saw 285 per gallon, huh? Mmm. Teriyaki burger? Think again. Pineapple teriyaki burger. No. Very sweet and highly recommended for those who have a long drive ahead. Outside were more antiques than I heard. Oh. Here, we're in rural west. That cargo train took about 3 minutes to clear. And so, even at 15 times the speed, it was a while. That might be an everyday thing here for the town folks, but it was a sight for me. Afterwards, I got myself a picture at the visitor center next to the army of Teslas and was now on Route 66 heading to the Grand Canyon. I hoped to share the footage of 66 here, but I didn't want to cause any dizziness to anyone, so I'll minimize that here. It only takes extra 30 minutes compared to the interstate, so do consider it if your time allows. However, you must, must, must Keep in mind that Vegas is in Pacific time while the Grand Canyon is in Mountain time. So if you want to see the sunset, do plan an hour ahead. Otherwise, you might end up like this. Initially, I thought I messed up big time and I'll just have to come back tomorrow. Wait, wh what is that? Huh. But anyhow, as I watched and listened, This mistake actually turned out to be the best mistake ever. Here, listen to the wind coming from the distance. The noise, the sight was stunning. So stunning that even as I was eating my dinner, a super crispy one, all I could think of was the canyon. And I actually went right back afterwards. The camera wasn't particularly great at this time, but with help of the full moon, my eyes were able to see a clear distinction on edge between the canyon and dark sky. The dark abyss below where the sound of distant wind trapped along the canyon was coming from. It was an awe-inspiring moment. In fact, I was even a little scared at this magnitude of how grand this space was and being all alone in this vast endless space. It certainly was an exceptional, unique moment. I highly, highly recommend seeing the canyon in the dark, particularly during the full moon. After staying the night, I decided to go see the sunrise for a different perspective of the canyon. 
Hi there. Stay warm, my friend. And I was back to Yavapai Point of the Grand Canyon. Magnificent and grand is the right word here. And look at the difference in color from yesterday night. Also different than yesterday night is the existence of other guests. Though much more colorful, you probably won't be able to completely submerge into the void like the feeling of being all alone in the vast space like I did yesterday. But seeing the lifeless, colorless canyon first, and then seeing the sunrising canyon where a picture was slowly saturating into life really completed the picture for me. Oh, and uh, it's very cold during winter, so plan ahead. <laughs> I'll be back after breakfast, Canyon. A few hours later, I came across a Cybertruck. At the time, they were just starting the delivery of vehicles. So everybody pretty much was taking a peek. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this uh, in market or already? It's already released, but this is not Sorry. a production. Oh, okay. This is an engineering one. Oh, engineering one. Do you work with them, for them? Uh, uh, yeah, I work with okay. them. Uh, I saw a few of these running around when I was driving. Uh -huh. okay. Where were you at? Uh, you someone see? in Florida. Uh, okay, yeah, we, yeah. There's, we do testing over there too. Yeah. We do testing all over uh, the world. I see. And it was like 4 a.m. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, they must be testing That's it in the dark. Yeah, well, it's easier yeah. to go at night. Less, yeah, less people, less people right? Oh, okay. Here to see the well, canyon? Uh, yeah. Well, I, or I, are you I, test I, driving this on the canyon? I mean, I look at it. Our <laughs> slow buff. Okay. Well, you don't have to tell me a lot if you don't. Yeah, we're doing like, some testing. Okay. Right? Also <laughs> awesome. Buff. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Quickest way to make new friends? Cybertruck. For the train fans, there also is an option of daily train that runs to and from the Grand Canyon to a nearby town of Williams. This was around 11 a.m. Fully lit in colors and many popular points like Mather Point start to fill up. Oh, I wonder if kayaking down the canyon is an option. Hmm, but um, yeah, do prepare ahead so you don't get lost. <laughs> Surely grand, right? This was a pleasant, inspiring sight, but like I said earlier, the night canyon was the one that gave me chills down the spine, the awe, the fear of the unknown, something special and so unique that, that my words just could not fully describe. I highly, highly recommend seeing the canyon at different times to really get all of it offers. Wow! Quite the line, which I missed yesterday. Time is now afternoon, and now I'm on the road back to Vegas where a surprise was waiting for me. Heading back, I took the interstate instead of 66, and for a lifetime Easterner like myself, even the interstate offers a stunning sight that's hard to come by. And here I am at Love's. This is where the bus to Vegas broke down in my previous video. Uh, no bus this time, I see. Oh. What a coincidence. This one's uh this one's not gonna break down, right? I mean so far so good. So far so that's good. So did it make it to Vegas last It did, it, it did. did. Oh man. I got all the way back to the yard. Nice, so nice. Alright. Do whatever they gonna do with it. <laughs> I ran into the same bus driver. A little bit later than we wanted to, but everybody got home. <laughs> not that huh? Bus, okay. I remember what happened a few days yeah. ago. <laughs> a familiar face. Nice, nice. Small world, eh? I am now merely 40 minutes to Vegas, and I thought, okay, why don't I take a look at another huge landmark? Here, I present the Hoover Dam. It's huge, but we call it the Hoover Dam, not Grand Hoover Dam, right? So it sure may be an architectural might, especially of the time, but it appears cute in comparison to the Grand Canyon. If you want to see both, Look at this one first. And finally, I am back to 
fabulous Las Vegas! Yay! Where dinosaurs freely roam, and every hotel is looking to cash in on your wallet. In the next video, I'll show you around the Fremont area of Las Vegas. Yep, this Fremont area.